Graffiti-filled, smelly piece of tin. <laughs> we are now on our final approach into Oxford Circus. The outside temperature is rubbish. Thank you for choosing London Transport.
tonight, it's my people here tonight. Some people my age, some people slightly over my age. It's wonderful. And there is a way, I've learned this over the last few, few years. This will be nothing to your job. Right? I've learned British people, when we go out, right, the way of finding out who is middle-aged in a comedy club or in an arena like this, you walk on, you shout out, it's Friday, it's five to five, and it's... <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Cracker Jack, that was a proper show, wasn't it, older people? We didn't win trips around the world. We didn't win cars. We didn't win houses. What did we win? Cabbages and pencils. And you youngsters think this is a credit crunch? <laughs> This recession has been. My agent, he's here tonight, I call him my guardian angel, because the amount of work he gets me, he might as well be dead. <laughs> <laughs> this recession is bad, everybody's cutting back. I'm doing a tour next week with the James Last duo. <laughs> he used to have a big band. <laughs> Two. So, I am so skinned. I am. If I go to McDonald's now, these kids who work in McDonald's, these X Factor rejects, two days out of the camp, they know when you're skinny. I go for the cheapest thing on the menu, which is a hamburger. I say, I'd like a hamburger. And they say, Is that a meal? I say, Well, not really. <laughs> Costa Coffee. Did you ever go in Costa Coffee? I was in there with my dad tonight, my dad's in his Hello. 80s. I love standing there watching him looking lost and confused. <laughs> While he looked at the menu. I said, what's wrong? He went, all I want. Here's a coffee. <laughs> I don't want Lachi. Lachi. Lachi, Mickey, Mackie, Boo, I just want a coffee. A little bit of it at Maxwell House. A bit of coffee, mate. In the mug. That's all I want. I said, ask for an espresso. He said, what? An espresso? I said, it's a small cup of coffee in a mug. Get you seven quid. <laughs> What's the other one we go to? The Little Chef. Have you ever been to The Little Chef? You go in there, and there's that sign, and it says, wait here to be seated. Do you look in? Standing, I'm not coming off now. Four of you standing there, 
And he comes out again, the manager, he's now married. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, O2, I'm now telling a joke I've not heard. <laughs> the end of this will be as much of a shock to me <laughs> as it's going to be to you. But don't worry, I'll, I'll get over it. So there's four of you standing there. And, they, and another guy from another joke came along. <laughs> He carried on walking because it's not going to work with five. <laughs> Mayday. So there's four of you standing. The manager comes out again, now divorced. <laughs> and I'll tell you what he said. No, he didn't say how many. Why would he say how many? <laughs> when I've just told you there's four people there. Are we going to do my material or yours? <laughs> don't worry, there's a way of getting over it. Don't, don't, don't. He went back in again. I'll be honest with you, now because I've been a very ill disciplined comic up here, I, I've mucked around and got laughs in this joke where I normally don't get laughs. I now know that when it comes to the line that normally gets a big laugh, because I've messed around, it won't get the laugh that I normally get. But there is a way of getting around this. I'll do it without you noticing. So there's four of you. You've come in for breakfast. It's now dinner. And the manager, he comes out and he says, table for four. So, don't patronise it. You, you look at each other like that. And you sit down. After about half an hour, you really are not happy. Because you don't know the other three people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have to tell you, I've been in this business 37 years. It is such a pleasure, a real pleasure to come out to this wonderful arena and work with the wonderful Johnny Mathis again. If there's any kids out there in the business who's just coming in, can I just tell you, try and get a microphone that works. And, <laughs> joking. Right, if there's any kids out there and you think after a week in uh, X Factor, you've got a career, let me just tell you, that's a career. You're in for a great show tonight. From me, Jeff Stevenson, thank you for listening. Woo! Thank you for laughing. Good night.